Hi, I'm Jill. Welcome back to my channel, You Only Better. Today, I have something a little bit different to share with you. Our children are homeschooled and they are all creative, extremely talented, and pretty artistic. Our son, for his American history lesson last week, created his own cartoon, which I thought was extremely clever. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on any of the future videos that I have for you. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. In the middle of 16th century, King Philip of Spain II was married to Queen Mary I of England. Spain and England were now joined together through marriage. This helped King Philip not only expand his country, but also he got to influence England's politics, culture, and air. This made other nations envious of Spain. Spain, unlike other European countries that began to follow the Protestant religions, were Catholic. The Protestant church began to become, began to become bigger in England because of King Henry VIII. King Henry VIII used it more for political gain than spiritual beliefs. He wanted the Pope to allow him to divorce his wife so that he could have a son, but the Pope refused. Henry then used the young Protestant faith for his own gain and made himself its leader. He would later divorce his life, wife, and long story short, he would end up with six wives. Henry would even have two of the wives beheaded after he grew tired of them, and they were accused of adultery. Um, King Henry's, uh, King Henry's uh, Protestant church was called the Angelican because he thought this was actually the original church, uh, the right church he should, they should follow. However, one of his daughters, Mary, became queen after he sickly, his sick, her sickly brother died. She attempted to make England Catholic in a bloody and cruel way. She persecuted any, uh, she persecuted any Protestant, and her husband, King Philip, encouraged her to do this. She was so cruel and hated by the people in England that when she died, many lit bonfires and celebrated the death of Bloody Mary. When her sister, Queen Elizabeth, became queen, many celebrated, and unlike Mary, Elizabeth was an Angelican. Protestants and Catholics seemed not to be able to live peaceful in this age. In France, it was worse because they had wars over two religions. While this war was going on, Italians were such good sailors that other countries would hire them to discover new lands for them. France was one of them, and when they hired a man named Giovanni de Varzio, he was ordered to find a religion called the Northwest Passage, um, a region, not a religion. It was supposed to be a river passage that connected to American continent to Asia. He could find it, and when he tried to tell a king that the king refused to believe and that and hired someone else, they soon began to sell for piracy and stealing gold from Spain fleets. Soon com committing piracy in Florida and Virginia became ideal locations to attack from sh for ships. This opened up a new age for pirates and piracy among the cruisers. Again, one another and individuals who plundered innocent merchant ships Pirates were a bit glorified in this era, in some cases accepted by other countries. Pedro Mendez de Avilis was one of the Spain top naval officers. He had a vision to turn Florida into a Spanish colony. He attacked a French fort and uh, murdered some of some of the um of of those who surrendered. Sorry about that. The rest the rest of the fleet told him uh, told about the massacre and the hurricane. Francis Spain Ooh, I need to catch my breath. France and Spain will continue to fight against each other and even hire privateers to steal from each other. But sadly, it would turn backfire because many of those privateers would turn into pirates and attack their and rob both ships. <laughs> 